we're really looking for this group. I think they've got to be more west. So as soon as this hole is going down for sure, and I think she already is, I do want to move further west, which is what this group is doing. My guess is they're going to be in this area. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and guess right here. So that's enough, I think. The hole should be sinking by now. She's not, but okay. We'll keep going this way a little bit. That's the sinking ship. That's the destroyer. Rochester's taking enough hits. She's probably going down. I don't know. Maybe she's still not. D23 just needs to get close enough to use his torpedoes. So we don't have to worry about that one anymore. And Arminius is actually needed to go sink the AV as well. I mean, I'm just thinking of all these things. So much to do, so little time. Yeah, but at least nothing's going to get to the carriers as of right now. Which are continuing to move west. We have more things that are not ready. This is cap. Well, it's only one left anyway. Um, Ten unready dive bombers. So let's put the... They're already on heavy. That's good. We'll go ahead and ready these guys up. The advantage of the dive bombers is that they will be better against any escorts. And I think that they should be very effective against carriers. Although I have heard rumors. I've been, I keep trawling the forum trying to see what everyone's talking about. I think that there's been some comments that the dive bombers were not as effective as desired. Although, maybe maybe I'm just repeating myself. I think I already said that. So let's get this to 11. This to 15. And get our two competing different torpedo bombers. Unfortunately, I have not been monitoring their success rates. But maybe somebody who has been in the, can mention in the comments which of these is performing better. I don't expect anybody has actually paid that close enough attention to detail with these two, but if there is a person out there who has, please let us know. So we'll ready these strikes as well. It's nice to have them ready. Where the hell is this carrier? Okay, the hole's still getting hit here. I think she's going, okay, she's going down. So now we're stopping fire again. We're moving west. You guys are taking on the Rochester, which is fine. Oh yeah, that's right, these guys have to clean grates. Well, unfortunately, that means that the Sankt Kaiser will have a chance to catch up. <laughs> Can I actually get her to detach manually? No. Well, we tried. That's why I like to run them at 19. Just one. I think if you're running at max speed, that's when you get that occurrence. The ship is dead stop, so it shouldn't be hard to hit. Let's have the Arminius stop firing for 10 minutes. She has 42% of her ammunition left, but it's best conserved because this is going to be a very dead ship in a moment. Okay, we're once again tracking down the Rochester. We actually want to take out her escort as well, but So I'm not really paying attention to all this stuff going on. Oh, there goes the Franklin, just in time for me to want to sink it, but... Oh, this is the Valley Forge? No. No, 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 we must have seen a destroyer. So can you attack this? No. Okay, good. We'll keep you not firing for a little bit. I want to destroy the unidentified ship. That's the biggest target here. 
We'll have these torpedoes for the Valley Forge since she decided she didn't want to go down yet. We'll help her along in her own way. Still, until I have any reports of new aircraft, I just don't know where to go. And again, I'm still thinking that they're going to be over here. But it's that's not for certain. Okay, let's get this one to cut back across. And yeah, we'll have you trawl out to the west. Maybe I am crazy. Maybe there was no dive bombers. Maybe they were on the AV. I don't know. Maybe we misreported float planes as dive bombers. That seems hard to do, but I don't know. <laughs> the Valley Forge just as we were... This poor DDS-23 is like... Yes, give me a target to torpedo. And then they just keep sinking right in front of his eyes. Actually, I want the Arminius to go track down that AV. Just to make sure she doesn't get away. And we'll leave these guys to this. All the while, my two carriers... Inching closer and closer to the central point... Yeah, so right now we're just going to kind of tr track the Rochester since supposedly she's going to go down soon. Just so we can torpedo her, put her down a little bit quicker. Oh yeah, that's the destroyer. Yep. Oh god, help me. <laughs> really coming after us. Secondary guns are now fire firing. We'll pull back and non, not only that, but we'll deploy smoke just to save ourselves. <laughs> huh. Okay, we got, we're, we're firing now at the, at the hull. I'd almost prefer to focus on her since this Rochester, although it still says it's not going down, we remain pretty confident. Yeah, that's that's really good. That is the AV. Looks like she is sunk. Okay, let's go ahead and close this on both sides. Any reports? I, I f I'm so worried that I've, I probably missed the spotting report. Dancing in and out of visual range. For all I know, maybe there's no carrier. It's crazy, huh? We just, the lack of information, that is one thing this game gets like really quite right. Okay, we're still hitting that. That's good. It's actually perfect. I want to hit both of those, and we're hitting exactly both of those. So this is important. Number 19. What the hell? It's got to be right here, then. Just gonna shift everyone a little bit. These are not overlapping circles, so she could be actually in the middle of us. We could be that unlucky. All right, buddy. Let's go down to cruise. Just get out of there, basically. And you're probably going to want to come back. <laughs> We're going to sail back for port after this. So I'm sure that this is sinking, but... I wanted to make sure... Let's get you to stop firing. Yeah, there's got to be a, a light 
carrier out here somewhere. Okay, so I think what we we know what we need to do. We need to launch flights in basically all directions and hope that one of them picks her up. So this is kind of the fun thing, the fun game we can play. Is it better to wait a little bit, wait for a surface identification or a surface contact? Or is it better to just try to have the aircraft locate them themselves? I really don't know. It's really impressive to me. Okay, it's fantastic that you got out of this. So we'll have you push back. It's really impressive to me that we, this carrier is, maybe it's just, maybe, okay, no, let's have you go this way, because I don't want, I want to, oh, by the way, what's going on here? Oh. Where's the destroyer? Did we lose it? I mean, there's nothing in the way except for maybe one destroyer. Oh yeah, actually, sorry. Uh, Arminius, I do want you to fire. I actually want you to completely sink this ship. So please go do that. There we go. Good. Right on cue. So we're going to tighten the noose here a little bit, assuming that she is this way. How's... Oh yeah, and it's... Basically, Arctic Circle, middle of summer, not going to have any problems running into nighttime. So it's prime operation, operating conditions for our carriers. But the problem is, and it's kind of surprising that this Rochester, oh, she's finally starting to slow down. Okay, good. Okay, battle cruiser. Group. Wait. Nope, got it wrong. Which one is it? These? Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, I think we're going to have to kick this into crazy mode. Um, how did they get there? Lord almighty, where is this light carrier? Okay, we're going to do it. We're going to have to do it. We could dispatch recon several, like, pff, I wouldn't want to do it, but we definitely could. In effect... It probably is the best thing to do, just to dispatch a whole bunch of torpedo bombers. Um, okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to do one. Go to light mode, and your mission is recon. So get ready. Then that means that this original group should have... Yeah, there it is. So one is getting ready. And now we can do the same thing. Get ready. It's down to seven. Awesome. Perfect. So we're just going to get a whole bunch of recon flights out, and we're hopefully going to find this SOB. I think that that's good. Well, okay, we'll do one more. Well, I guess... Might as well just finish off the whole stack, right? Have them ready to go. And we have a whole bunch of other stuff ready to go as soon as we do find her. But man, there's not a whole lot, not a whole lot of places she can be hiding at this point. You guys do not have... Oh, you do have... Oh, you do. Oh yeah, our tertiaries are... Oh, good. I mean, the, this battle cruiser is the best thing you could have chosen. What? They're way over here. Why are they dive bombing this guy? Poor DD23. Okay, DD23, just make it back to port. Just get out of here. At least enter the cover of um, the cap. <laughs> 
Okay, Arminius. So yeah, basically everyone but the battle cruisers. Now, where did they go? Where did they go? Find those aircraft. Where did they go? I want to know which direction they're going home. But I don't think they're going to give me this information, which is honestly information we definitely would have access to. Huh. It's invisible. It's definitely not possible to see. Okay, so this Rochester, I'm sure, is going down. Um, let's just rest. Kirster. See that she's at three. Switch targets to the destroyer. That's our new target. Good. And how uh, how long is it going to take for us to get those recon things up? A little bit longer, I think. We still have some more torpedo bombers. I'm going to assume that um, we don't need any other... We don't need any other um, torpedo bombers for recon. So if this group of seven is ready for cap and this group of three, that's fine. I don't think we need escorts. I haven't seen any fighters, so... We'll ready this one as well. Okay. Come on, hit her. Hit her. I'm just pulverizing her, but I don't, <laughs> don't want them to pulverize her. I want this destroyer. There we go. Wow, hit her with a four and a 16 inch if I'm not reading that incorrectly. Hopefully the 16 inch hit, like actually hit. I think it did, but she's still evading, maybe kind of slowing down a little bit. Turning back, which is perfect. We just need to steady up on course. There we go, another 16 inch hit. Probably not many of those are gonna be needed to actually take her out. Get you to head north towards the cap. And you have sunk this one, so good. I think everything that is afloat is, is a, the only thing afloat is whatever carrier group they have. Now this is, I know that it is technically done, but now let's give you guys free fire to basically finish off whatever you want. I don't think your big guns are going to be needed at all, so you can just fire at anything. And mainly I want to go over here and hit this Rochester with a few more torpedoes. We found anything yet? Still nothing. Ay, 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 it's impossible. I have no idea where this carrier is. I feel like we ran over it already and must have missed it. I'm going to have you keep going south. I have no idea what down, what's down there, but anyone who's injured now needs to come back. And you were one of the injured parties, right? Yeah, so let's get you to just head all the way back towards the cap. To the safe. It's like home base. Um, yeah, so this one is just journeying down here. Not to taunt the hole, but actually to get the Rochester to go down. And she can waste all of her ammunition, just none of her torpedoes, on the hole. I think that she will go down a little bit faster with us raking her like this. Just have no idea where this other carrier is. Look how far out these destroyers are looking for her. Okay, Ryan has lost sight of target, but that's fine. We're still battering the hole.
Okay, let's get these recon planes launched. And there we go. All right, so you are going... Okay, we're gonna use this as our, our starting point. I'm gonna launch one here. Okay, wait one minute. I don't know how it works, so I'm just gonna be conservative and wait one minute per. Okay, you are going to launch and look for them here. Okay, let's wait a minute. Next. You are gonna launch and look for them here. Cause I, I haven't really done a good job looking in that area. Could go farther with these patrols even further away. Probably should. You are going to go, you would be like this halfway point, so something beyond that. It's pretty far though. So I think this is more or less gonna be where I want. Launch that. Um, I almost forgot. Now it's time to launch torpedoes. <laughs> Okay, uh, what was the last one? The last one was the middle point. So we did one, two, three, four, and next is five, okay. Okay, let's get you to launch. So I, I could figure out where that was, but it doesn't matter. I think it was here, so we want something like this. Launch. Um, let's get you to launch torpedoes just on your own. You don't need to deploy smoke. Well, here, we can do it from here. We don't have to actually look, which is great. Okay, and then just head home. Let's get the carriers activated again. So, recon. The last one we did was here. So now we should be doing here. Um, yeah, we'll do something like this. Maybe like this even. And that was here-ish. So now we'll go over maybe to the middle one down here. Maybe even further away, but we'll go a month, or sorry, a minute first. Oh, we don't have any of these left, but that's okay. So down here, I think. See if they find anything. And maybe one this way, just to, to see if we haven't gone far enough. Maybe two more, one here, one here, and then one here, just to see if we haven't gone far enough yet. Okay, good, Rochester's getting hit by torpedoes. Hopefully that finishes her off. Okay, again, one more recon. Yeah, we have two left. So let's do one pretty far over here. And wait a minute, and good. So she got hit by three more destroyer-based torpedoes. That's gonna be pretty effective, I think. The last one, we're gonna get her over here. I'm gonna trust this kind of line. I think that this is hopefully gonna cover the eastern part. We'll see. So launch that one. Okay, and then after this minute, we're gonna go ahead and start readying whoever is not ready. Oh, you're just a fighter group, we'll leave you as is. There's not a whole lot of torpedo bombers in this group ready. Maybe that's a good one to choose. I mean, we have a lot of things which are ready. The things which we need, yeah, the, these torpedo bombers need to go ahead and get ready.
Good. Ready them up. And now it's going to be interesting. Let's see what we find. They're just, they're out there, man. Oh. Oh my. Shift East. I think that this is real. Okay, we've had a lot of false alarms, but I'm gonna th I'm thinking that this is real. I'm gonna keep these guys going south, but I'm gonna have everyone else cut it back this way. I feel like this one is real. Well, we had a lot of false alarms, haven't we? So I'll leave this guy. Yeah, I mean, we've just searched so far that way. Let's cut him back. All right, Guerre. Good luck, buddy. Oof, brutal. You're still always able to put nine up. Kind of crazy. And get back to port the moment you can. Plus, we want everyone else to shift nor uh, east anyway, because that's the area we haven't really covered. Where it looks like she's going to make it. German Battle Division 18. Well, this just ruins everything. I have no idea now. I have no idea where they are. Okay, let's just start getting these guys back to port just in case they do take some hits. That was a lot of torpedoes. Okay. You show me where you're going next. That's a tough angle. They disappeared. Oh, man. All right, how, how are we doing here, first and foremost? How are we doing? Flooding at zero? Yeah. Just one air launch torpedo each. Oh, apparently it's not over. One second. And I really thought that this episode would surely see the end of it, but this chaotic... Okay, the scouts are all out. Now we're just waiting for a report. And I think that since we're waiting for a report, we're going to get everyone to just stop their search. If we don't find her in this next thing, and I think that, by the way, the only thing we really can do is continue looking east. So we're just going to look east, and if we don't find her, that's, that's just it. It's time for the ships to congeal up, start helping each other out. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. Do we get a report or not? <laughs> the carriers themselves are actually close enough to provide support, which is great. So that's actually really helpful. Okay, so what? Uh, what is the time on this? Zero four nineteen. We need something more like a, at eleven. So are the top ones then the high, the newest? Okay, so we're looking for something on the top. And we could just end this episode. I mean, not just this episode. We could just end this battle. I don't know where the hell these guys are. I, it's just, the strange thing is that they keep approaching from such weird angles. You would think that we would have uh, the ability to, to, like, monitor what direction they're going back. Oh, nice. 40 light AA, but no aircraft hit. Well, that's a little disappointing. I think that that will disrupt their attack, at least. This has got to be two light carriers. 
This is a lot of aircraft. Nah, I keep heading this way. Oh, sorry. You are a damaged person. You gotta go home. Sorry about that. Who else is damaged? You're a damaged person as well. You're a very damaged person. Oh my gosh. We have them. Ha ha ha. Okay, launch. Do not coordinate. Do not pass go. This is midway. Reactive launch. Clear the flight deck. I'm actually going to withhold some torpedo bombers. So we have a couple of groups here which are going to be held back. We're going to send fighters, dive bombers, torpedo bombers. This is a, a sizable number, 28 here. 37 here, and we'll hold back. I'm going to hold back the group of dive bombers so that we have a dive bomber and two groups of torpedo bombers that did not participate. And the rest are going to be launched at this report, which I'm going to read myself. Two destroyers. That actually could be just two destroyers. No! <laughs> okay, um, we need to verify this. You guys are doing okay, so yeah, just keep coming east. The fact that we saw some destroyers here at all means that I think there should be something here. I'm so sorry for the Gware, but she's been roped into duty. We are not finding them here. Pretty good overlap of sight, not to be seeing them. What was their course? East, southeast. So we do expect to see them over here. We have not launched, which might not be a good thing. Got him. Take me to you. Yes. Got him. I don't know what this is, so I'm going to again deploy conservatively. So we're leaving one dive bomber here out. And we'll leave one or maybe even two torpedo bombers out here. So we'll leave two groups of 11 out. I'll we'll go with the 15, and we will go with dive bombers in this group, and we'll go with the fighters. Oh, whoops, these guys are not the ones I want. These two. So dive bomber, torpedo bomber, and a fighter, along with two more torpedo bombers. Yeah, okay. So we'll go and just launch them here. What's the course? What's the current course? That's my carriers, so yeah, you can't really bungle it. Just go this way. Launch. But we've already caught them, so there's some good news. Yeah, this is not, this is not who I wanted it. To, this is not who I thought it was be. So I think this is not them. Wait a second. Okay, I thought that was a scouting report. Ah, we don't know where. <laughs> this is awesome. 45 minutes. Who knew this would take so long? So a deck attack did not penetrate, though, because, yeah, three-inch deck. I doubt that they have very good... I mean, our dive bombers aren't that good either, so... I'm pretty content that this is the scouting... that this is the state of affairs. I'm hoping that they're taking us back to their leader. 
So I'm really happy we did not deploy everything. And you guys are completely okay to run. And you are running very quickly over to help. Good. This person has already re reached their max. <laughs> we just couldn't shake. It was just so sad, but we just, wait. Oh, she lost the sight of one of the destroyers, but that's kind of to be expected. Okay, let's get the Guerrero off. We've we've actually gotten the two that we were looking for. We're hopefully trailing them back to the carriers. Yeah. Oh boy. Well, this video is just not going to come to a We got them. <laughs> Holy cow. Boy, they were not where I expected. Well, I mean, I, I guess at some point I probably pointed there. I pointed nearly everywhere. I am going to launch immediately. If this isn't them, I mean, I don't even know what we're chasing at this point. So we're going for it. A group of unescorted <laughs> could be better. We don't have any fighters available. So let's prepare this group. Down here. And launch. Ah. What is your 113? We can go this far. Okay, so we're going to do two different missions then. We're, we're going to do the original one. I guess we'll do 112. And not include the dive bombers. The torpedo bombers. So this is like a reverse midway now. We're launching the torpedo bombers first. Go a minute. And then next we'll grab these two. And we can set their range a little bit further. I wanted the torpedo bombers to go first because they're, I mean the dive bombers to go first because they're shorter range. This is probably going to move way faster. So it gives us the, we don't mind if the torpedo bombers arrive. They can fly a little further. And we'll launch that. Although, probably these guys are going to be able to handle the situation themselves. And there it is, two battlecruiser. Well, that is interesting. And I think it is, indeed it is. It is an escort. Okay, reroute this direction. Not you, but you as well. And you. And you. All right, here we go. They can probably escape us, unfortunately. What do we have? A freight? Oh my god, these are legitimate targets. Another one. We'll just go for it. Start attacking. Oh, we got one. Yes. Ha ha ha. We got a hit. I don't care if your stokers are exhausted. This is very important. We're going to shut down their aircraft at least. Because she can't turn where she wants to go. She has to come back to us to launch. We are getting a few hits. So this is probably that the end of her. Oh, interesting. Oh, they're approaching the enemy. No, the wrong ships. No. <laughs> they're going to go ahead and sink those destroyers. But. Wrong targets. I'm so glad we left something back to defend. What do we have here? Copy class. We're going to run over 50 minutes. We already have, but we're, we're going to just go ahead and eat it. I want to really want to finish this mission if we can. Keep hitting her. As often as possible, really. 
And here comes the aircraft. <gasps> oh, the aircraft. The torpedo armors arrived first. Oh, they're, they're that much faster. Wow, I did not realize that. Oh, right, here they go. Oh, man. Here we go. <laughs> oh. One aircraft damaged. And we have hit her. She doesn't have, like, any AA, but she's still destroying our aircraft. Just murdering them. Combined eight. Who oh, is this bad luck or something? I don't really know how to interpret this. It seems like they're just... Oh, God, she's going down. For sure. Oh, good. We hit the destroyer as well. Well, this group is toast. But we did also spot those battle cruisers and stuff. Um, this is exciting. Things have really picked up. And I think we have most of our potentially wounded group out, which is really nice. I don't think that they're going to be able to launch any more stuff against us, which is also really nice. So both of these are probably going down. If that destroyer really did take a hit. And she did. So, wow, very interesting. I don't know if there's anything else we can do, though. Um, we're not going to be able to catch up to the other things, so we were only able to kill one, like, carrier. Oh! Ah, oh, that we saw. An unknown ship. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, that's what we already knew, but this... No, those are already known reports. Yeah, that's a known. That might not be. Let's pursue that. We have some people trailing in the rear, right? So we will know if those aren't the correct reports. This is exciting. <laughs> After a torpedo hit, I'm gonna, well, I guess I'm just gonna leave them to the mop-up crew. Jarvis is probably going down now. Good, we'll have her hold fire now. Just until you get beyond her. And we weren't able to find them. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull back. I know that we could really push our advantage here, but I'm kind of tired of this battle. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and speed up. If we could take some more attacks on the way back in, we know that, yes, there really was more stuff in the area. Whoops. Um, yes, there really was more stuff in the area. <laughs> it won't let me end. <laughs> okay, so what do we have here? Move in, move in. Oh, yeah, this is it. So what are you guys doing? When you're done with all that mucking around, why don't you go help our battle cruisers and stuff here? Another Rochester. We don't have a whole lot of ammunition left. Is that an escort? Question is, is that a CVL? Because if it is, I mean, what? I mean, we have to, right? We have to go after it. I think that the cap situation has gone crazy now, and we're not going to have control of our carriers ever again. Kind of is up to these guys. Just want to identify that ship. I think that they are going to be able to outrun us. But I would like to know what that is. Probably it is a light carrier since we were able to spot. Well, I don't know. Yep, there it is. Okay. I guess we're just going to have to wrap this up here and call this video to a close and pick this up in the next. Obviously, it won't be much of a fight. But that was kind of interesting. I need to like reflect on this a little bit more, but I think it was pretty entertaining the way we had to search for them. It felt real, and I feel like this is where possibly we should start including float plane scouts on some of our um, on some of our vessels. I said that it wouldn't be important to be able to scout, and I thought that that would be the case for sure. 
What is going to be interesting as well is to see and to try to like maybe look at the video from last episode and the video from next episode side by side and see where where we scouted and where they actually were. So I'll, I'll you know do the thing where we can track the big ship movements. We should actually see where they were and how we missed them because then it will give us a better idea of how to not fail in scouting for the next time. Um, the good news is they aren't going to be able to launch anything, but the bad news is we aren't really either because the, I think at the, well, okay, we actually do have control of these again for the moment, but I believe what happens is the cap divides into smaller and smaller groups continuously, and then you end up with a situation where you, your aircraft carrier is turning into the wind to launch almost constantly. Maybe it was just recovering them. I don't know. It's possible that it was just recovering those. We'll get this torpedo bomber to be fitted. We'll get this group of 14 to be fitted. We only have 14 torpedoes left, so that's pretty much it. Although we really don't need that many more torpedoes to finish off um, this group. Too bad we can't, you know, have the torpedo bombers of this group land on this aircraft carrier, since that would be very helpful. This has a solid group of 11. Yeah, and their range of 145 with the heavies. Oh, wow, the Dorniers, we need to get rid of the Messerschip ME, ME 230s. Their range of 113 really is a liability. We've actually seen it in this um, in this episode, which is pretty cool. We were able to see that, but also not cool because we had to see it. <laughs> so we'll get all those things ready. And yeah, we know that's only 15 torpedoes left, so basically there's not enough for someone else. Uh, so we'll do one more turn, and then I, I think this might be a bug, but I'm, I think we might. Nope, they actually deducted them now. So that's fine. We'll get these guys now to do glide bomb attacks. So we'll do the heavies, and we'll still get them to equip with nine tor uh, bombs. I don't think we'll end up needing to use that, but we'll ready that group as well. Wait, oh, how come this group of 11 did not ready? Did I mess up? Probably. Okay, so you guys get ready. And I'll go one more minute and then we'll just bring this episode to a close here. So, thanks for watching. Um, I'll see you back for the next one where hopefully we finish this group off. But even if we don't, we'll at least end the damn battle. <laughs> Until then, thanks for watching and take care.